cage, I visit like disco. Disco, when stop us to in Puerto Rico. A Rico, when I turn it into a Rico. A Rico, I don't wanna be Come on, some wave it, and some in Panta. And La Fiesta, Asia, Bali. Hey, welcome to this episode of Sailing Nikau. We've just left Minerva Reef, and we are heading home. We just hooked two fish, we just left Minerva, and yeah, we're slowly bringing them in. A big fish. Both at the same time. You think they're sharks? Oh, I hope they're not sharks. Hey, welcome to this episode of Sailing Nika. You're going to love it. We're going home. We're going to New Zealand. We've been three years at this. Pretty pumped to get home. As we were coming out the pass here at Minerva with our three other friends on Vogue, Elysian and Ibis, we hooked a fish on each line. Big fish too. We're not sure what they are. Hopefully not sharks. What on. Uh, oh my goodness, it, what was it Josh? I think that was a tiger shark, eh? Yeah. Massive shark! Come on, Come on get it! That was a massive get shark! Get it, yeah, get it, Dad! Oh. Oh. Whoa, yes, let's get this thing! Whoa. Yes! Lost oh, all our gear. Do you think this is a shark as well? Or this, maybe, maybe. they... I think it ate them! Were they going for the tiger shark? Uh, you mean they were going for oh, our fish? Might have been coming for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a tuna? Oh, no, no, it's it's not a tuna. Isn't that a shark? That's an alpha for tuna. Is it? There you go, albacore tuna, or probably yellowfin actually. I think it's yellowfin tuna. Delicious eating. Just got them in the pass. I don't think we got it on camera, but a massive shark. Huge tiger shark probably. It must have been four meters long, came from the other one. And I've lost all my gear on one rod, but I managed to get this one in. It's pretty good for the start of a passage. We've got five and a half, six days to go to New Zealand. There's not a lot of wind and all four of our friends were really worried about running out of diesel uh, because the motors are on and uh, we're going to sail as much as we can. But we're heading home, baby. It's raining pretty hardcore. And we're pulled out the Zeneca. Those are our Australian friends on the boat Elysian. They've got a few teenagers, we've been having a lot of fun with them ever since uh, we first met in Tahiti. And yeah, we're having a great run with our Jenicas up. Do you reckon we're beating the catamaran? No, we're not beating the catamaran. It's pretty close though. They're slowly beating us actually. It's very disappointing. Who can fly a Jenica better, a monohull hull or a catamaran? Yeah, how come? Flat. Yeah, we're ours. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it moving around. Every time we go over a bit of a rogue wave, that thing flogs, and I gotta tell you, it's terrifying. I hate it. I know sometime tonight the thing's gonna rip in half like it always has done before. It's 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m., and I told you the Jenica did rip almost clean through and had this much holding it. When they rip clean through, it just flies like a kite at the top and it's impossible. So we're able with that little bit on the outside just to pull it down. So it ripped my hands before I got gloves. And, uh, uh, and it brought us <laughs> a long way tonight, which was good. That's what we wanted. I was prepared for it to rip. Uh, it's just sore. And stressful. It's stressful. <laughs> I haven't slept all night. I've just been waiting for it to rip. All tied up, put to bed for the night. Definitely, definitely, definitely till New Zealand. We're so not getting this thing 
Uh, might have to. No, we're not. Been up all night on watch, and just as I laid down and went to sleep, we ripped the Jenica, the Jenica, <laughs> that's what it's called, again. And sixth time we've ripped the Jenica. Yeah, it's just, it was kind of a given that we're going to rip it at some point. And we're sailing into wind at an average of three to two knots, which is uber slow. And it's going to be a long, boring journey. What we got is a massive storm in New Zealand and it's pushing quite a nasty current. We've got about 1.7 knots current against us and we're only moving forward at like three knots, you know. And we're ha having to point off our rum line. New Zealand's that way, but we're having to go south past New Zealand towards Antarctica uh, and we're going to have to tack in at some time. This is really frustrating, super frustrating. The weather reports did not say this. Um, oh yes they did. They did say it, but no. We, we just hoped it would be better than yeah, it was. Yeah we hoped it would be a little bit better. <laughs> and, and we just heard today, it was really sad, uh, someone obviously read the weather wrong like we did and they just sailed straight into a massive storm in New Zealand and one of the guys have died. The, sh the ship sunken. They got thrown a life raft by the Air Force, the same plane that went over us at Minerva Reef, flew over them because they lost their life raft. They didn't tie it on or slipped or something. And uh, so the Air Force sent them a life raft, helicopter came, picked them up. Good thing about this is the New Zealand Coast Guard is very good about rescuing people in this part of the world. Uh, every year sailors run into trouble and the New Zealand Coast Guard combs the largest space of ocean other than any other country. We do the, the Pacific Ocean which is just flipping enormous and uh, working with all of the different islands. And so um, thank goodness they're there watching us. If we don't get back in, a, in a, like six, seven days, another big storm will come through and uh, so that's just what sailing's like. I want to say that we didn't read the weather wrong. We knew it was going to be light and it was going to be a bit of on the nose for quite a few days, but we chose that over going into that big low uh, because we didn't want that to happen to us. And so this was our choice. We knew it was going to be light. We knew it was going to be upwind. We knew it was going to be frustrating. But we all said that we'd rather have light winds than too much wind. What we did do wrong is not fill up our jerry cans. More diesel would have been good. Yeah. The winds picked up quite a bit, had a good night, uh, making good ground towards Opua, New Zealand. And uh, still sailing up wind though. Still sailing up wind, had to reef down a little bit. Uh, the big swell from the storm is now sort of kicked in. Um, or at least starting to and uh, it's, it's not very pleasant is it? Not very pleasant but no. we, we're making our way home. Exciting. Well it's been a really tough day. We've been on a horrible angle with terrible seas. I felt sick. I've been vomiting. I haven't been able to do anything all day. Feeling a little bit better now but we've got probably another 24 hours of this so not that happy. <laughs> Kids have come up with an ingenious arrangement for sleeping on this big angle, I'll show you. Let's go sideways on the bed. All three of them can fit. And the doggy too. Hey Coco, you're a good girl, aren't you? Is that comfy, Davy? You've got to kind of crunch your legs up. <laughs> and Josh is managing to make food. This is where a pre-done meal would have been good. Hey Josh, pretty hard to make food really at this angle. Especially when you're worried about the bike upstairs. And what are you making? Spaghetti bolognese, the most basic form you can imagine. Oh, it looks yummy, it smells good. I appreciate all the cooking you do. Josh made a lovely pumpkin soup for lunch, even with all this weather. And uh, yeah, he really looks after us with the food, my wonderful husband. Today we've 
we're getting along a bit nicer. We're still having to motor at a very slow rate, which isn't so good. And Josh has got a bit of a problem with his hands. Oh, they're actually so gross. Oh, check this out. This is what crayfish did here. Oh, this was the Jenica ripping out. I know, this is gross. Look away, if you know. And, and this is like, that one is a snapper spine that went into it, and these ones are crayfish ones that have gone all pussy. Luckily, we're sailing with one of the best surgeons in America. What does he do? Back surgery. Back surgery. And uh, he's, this is a piece of cake for him. And so we just ray down and said, what do you do? And he said, put it in super hot water with some salt. Uh, but that's very difficult. And then maybe start taking some antibiotics, yeah, antibiotics. as well. It's very difficult to uh, work the yeah, winches like this. Particularly with this one because on a joint every time I grab it bleeds. We're still motoring into wind, directly into wind. We've added three days to our journey so far because of the wind. Because of the wind. I shove, can't do it yet. Shove your hand in the bowl there. Look, you don't have like, open wounds on you. That's what's super. Stop being such a wuss. Uh, I can't even get that one under. Uh, 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 uh
going, go, go. What's the cat doing? Naughty girl. Such a bad idea. Oh. I could almost jump over. Should I swim over? Hey. Hey guys. Josh, grab the rope. If you um, good spotting Kylie. Okay. Uh, hang on, let me tighten this up. You ready? Yep. Oh no! Alright. <laughs> so, it's a good thing I got a water separator. One down. Thank you guys so much. Josh has been having nightmares about running out of diesel the whole time. He can hardly sleep. I'm like kicking mm. myself, eh, that I didn't fill up. Uh, okay, it's a big throw. Don't stand on it. Hang on, I'll try. Oh, that was impressive. Fail, Josh, fail. Finally got calm seas, baby. Thank goodness. It's been so long, this passage. Going into wind and into current. It's going to take about two days more than it should. Finally, we've got that calm weather that was predicted. We got some actually, sleep last night. Yes, actually quite nice. We actually slept, feeling more like a normal person. It's getting cold now. Oh, it's Lucky we've got all these blankets out before this trip, eh? Yes. So all of our friends are very close. Ibis is leading the way. Our friends Porter and Helen, five miles in front. Elysian. On the catamaran, Jeff and Rach, and just behind us is Bo, who we've been traveling with all the way from the Mediterranean. As you can see so far, our track from Minerva Reef has not been a straight one. You're looking at the pink line, it's where we've been. A lot of tacking back and forth upwind. Check out this day, it's nasty, that was yesterday. Here we are and we are over halfway Opu in New Zealand here we come so the whole fuel exchange went well we got another two jerry cans 40 litres it'll take us another 10 hours with motoring which is really cool thanks to Jasper and Kylie uh, fixing my dressings look at that it's coming up a little bit better a bit of antibiotics been soaking it in hot water and salt and that's getting better as well and tomorrow evening or early tomorrow morning we are going to be there we've had wind all day which is really good but it's dying out and the motors have got to go on again morning is coming around you're about to leave how am I to feel? Let's just keep it real. All right, look at this. Barbecued ribs for lunch. We've got a bit of a stir fry action using up the very last of our vegetables because today we are making landfall in New Zealand. The motor's cranking at 2.3 thousand RPM. We're going like eight knots. We're just gunning at home and we're pumped. Right guys? Yes. yes. Stoked. Oh, How are you doing, honey? Pretty tired and gross. Been doing all the watches. We're all feeling gross. No, I didn't shower. I'm good. Mm, who else has had showers? I haven't had a shower in a long time. I've been dirty for a day. I haven't had a shower for a while. Mm, Asian style ribs. Come on, guys. Let's eat. That's finger looking good. Finger looking good. What is it, buddy? Land! We've spotted it on the horizon. No way. Are you serious? It's just the tiniest little lump, but we can see it. It's basically impossible to see, but you can see it. I can't Find see it anything. It. It's real. Yeah, you can just see it. Yeah, I can oh, see it. Oh, I can see it. What do you reckon, honey? Woo! Pretty exciting. I'm yet to find it. That oh. is right. There. 
I'm guessing you can't see it. Beautiful out here, really cold. The water temperature is 14 degrees. That's ridiculous. No way we're swimming. No, I'm not even diving. My seven mil wetsuit is uh, back at home and uh, we'll be getting that out in a few months time. Obviously to dock this puppy. Oh man, we're pumped. We're so stoked to be here in New Zealand. So cool. Can't wait to show you guys around this beautiful country. Uh, obviously we'll take you to the dock, but next episode, can't wait to, we're gonna take you to our hometown and through some of the hot spots of New Zealand. Bearing in mind that this is not summer, it's freezing. Summer New Zealand sailing season is just the best. Subscribe to Sadar, yeah. totally. Um, and it's Ibis. Cool, you guys kicked our ass here. That was awesome, right? All good. All right. We're here. Yeah, yeah. Nick Albo. Yeah. How was it, guys? Happy birthday today. So good. Happy to be here. birthday, Jasper. Thank you. Uh, best birthday present ever to arrive and be safe. Be the the best. Yeah, yeah, to be off the boat. Oh, so good. Absolutely. Does this count as land? Not really. It's a floating Close enough, Close enough to land. It's not enough. moving. It's, I'm not going to complain. Let's go have some beers. And that's all for us at Sailor Nikau. For at least for this week, because I want to celebrate and I can't be bothered videoing. See you later! Be misconstrued, so breathe in, breathe out. You will never fall through. And breathe in, breathe out. You will never be misconstrued, so breathe in, breathe out. You will never fall through and breathe in.